this video will be if you have a Lista or Vidmar cabinet and your drawers are stiff to pull in or out, how to take the drawers out and lubricate and clean the bearings and get them to where they glide smooth. <clears throat> These cabinets are great because they can hold a tremendous amount of weight per drawer and hold up to it. I'm still working on organizing everything but there's all sorts of different drawers and inserts you can put in them to arrange from big to little. You can see here the Vidmar in the front. It actually only has three roller bearings. And the bottom one down here is just a bushing on a shaft. The same as this one. And then a Lista is in the back. It has a total of four roller bearings and just one plastic roller. They're pretty much the same design between a Lista and a Vidmar. I don't have enough experience to say which one's better or worse. They both work for what I need. So if you need to take it out, you've got to lift that notch up over it and pull forward. And then it's loose. If you need to remove the drawer, You've got to take those out of the little grooves and then it'll just pull and lift right out. The bearing's real stiff, hard to turn. First I start off with just wiping as much excess grease that's dried up off the outside. I've managed to break my right hand, so I'm doing this left-handed, so I'm a little fumbly. Then I take Zep Floor Stripper and soak it pretty good. And you can see it softens up the grease pretty quick. When you're trying to roll it around, keep pressure against the balls inside that bearing and it'll roll that degreaser all the way around and soften it up. Once you can tell that all the balls have spun over, I just like to spin it a little faster. And then I'll switch directions. Then I'll just take a little pick and scrape as much of the hardened grease out as I can. You do have to be careful with the floor stripper on some of these paints. It will soften it up some. Then I take a little bit of brake parts cleaner. just because it's a little more aggressive to try to get the last little bit out. Still one little clump right there. If you leave a little bit behind, it's fine. I'm just trying to make sure all the little balls are rotating well. 
that none of them are locked down. And then I just take a little bit of WD-40 to shoot in there as a cleaner, not as a lubricant. Plus it'll displace any of the water that's in the floor stripper to keep it from flash rusting. And then I just wipe it off and let it sit overnight before I lubricate it so that the WD-40 and everything can evaporate away. I'll show you that next. Alright, so I've let it sit overnight and everything's evaporated away and wiped clean. And then I like to take Permatex Ultra Slick Engine Assembly Lube and just put a light coating around the roller bearings. You don't want to put too much. All the dirt, dust, and grime will just be attracted to it and gum it up even quicker. So I just put a drop around the edge and just roll it till it looks like it coats all the balls really well. I may put just a little more than a drop. To me, the assembly lube works better than a light oil or a grease. The grease seems to harden up too quick unless you use them a whole lot. Then you just slide the track frame in. Make sure your little latches are flipped around towards the front. That's what stops the drawer from coming out. So to put the drawer in, you just set the tracks on top of the front rollers and then slide it in. There's a little notch. You have to lift up on the front to get it over it. And then it just hops into place. And they roll easy as can be now. <laughs> 